Armand here with your forecast for, uh, you know, this week, the week of October 10th, 2021. I just report, you know, and I'm probably wrong about a lot of stuff and certainly not personal to you. So, you know, but don't, you know, listen, this is the thing. I'm just telling you what I see here. We start the week. It's a, it's a busy week. It's a busy week. Waxing moon. Waxing moon is always active, always a sign that we're going to be doing something, always a sign of getting busy with things and stuff like that. It's a very work-oriented week. This is a week where, you know, putting your shoulder to the wheel or nose to the grindstone or you know, whatever you want to put to whatever is probably a good idea. Not that progress is going to be all that quick and flowing and easy this week, but it's probably worth it to give it a shot. We start off with a Saturn station to move direct on Sunday. Now, Saturn stations are a time when the, the energy tends to be a little heavy, a little work-oriented. Uh, I don't know how you handled Saturday, but for Sunday, it's probably a good idea to get some work out of the way, handle a project or two, do what needs to be done. Uh, if you have you know, work work, that you're doing over the weekend. I know it's a holiday weekend in the US, but if you have work work that you need to do, spend a little time doing it. If you know, homework, if you're in school, that would be a good idea. Um, otherwise, you know, maybe clean out the garage, do a little sort of, you know, just chores around the house. Uh, maybe look at a project, but make it a small project because among the other thing, Saturn stations encourage us to work a little bit, but they don't necessarily make for great progress a lot of the time. So you want to kind of, you know, something that you, something that you can handle okay if it really doesn't work out all that well. So uh, that's uh, that's Sunday, uh, the energy strongest on Saturday into Sunday, and I would say that on Monday it starts to kind of dissipate. Well, you know, I mean, it does kind of dissipate on Monday with the exception of the fact that on Monday uh, afternoon, the moon goes into Capricorn, which is Saturn's sign. And so that really extends the energy. We always wanna, we always should be working through a Capricorn moon, a waxing Capricorn moon. You know, I mean, it's time to get things started. It's the first quarter moon. So again, you know, maybe, looking at last week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, delays, prep work, you know, maybe things weren't flowing all that much. You know, Monday, Tuesday, I would expect things would be pretty good. Uh, let me just uh, not hide the fact that I'm looking at my little cheat sheet over here. The moon is going to try and Uranus on Tuesday. It's going to square Mars before the first quarter moon. Uh, and then it goes on early, early on Wednesday, to square up uh, to yes to square, to conjunct Pluto square so you know uh, a, a sort of a sort of a serious vibe there for sure so the first part of the week we're going to look at that as being very work oriented we're pulling off towards that Saturn end of things of course we have to remember pointing to my head because this is where you remember things right in your head uh, <laughs> Yeah, you know, we're doing good here. The um, remember, I have to do this on a Saturn station, and I have to also do this. That's what I was going to tell you to remember with Mercury retrograde. So, you know, both sides of the stories is what I'm saying. We this there may not be quite the degree of progress. There's still potential for miscommunication and things like that this week. On Wednesday, on Wednesday the 13th, right, 10th, 11th, but on Wednesday the 13th. Venus is sextile to Saturn. It is a waning sextile with a waxing moon. I don't know. It's just, it's a nice energy. It's a nice, well, I'll tell you, it's a good energy for any kind of business negotiations. It's a good energy for uh, when things need to be assessed or appraised. It is a pretty good energy for relationship, I would think, which would actually be present, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So there's a little bit of that, you know, it'll certainly help a lot of the Capricornian business kind of thing that we have at the early part of the week. Moving on to Thursday, we have the sun is going to early on, on, on the, yeah, no, 
Moving on to Thursday, the sun is trying Jupiter. It is exact early on Friday, but we always feel aspects as they're building. And so the sun's trying to Jupiter is going to be the strongest on Thursday. Nice, generally nice atmosphere, I would say. Moon in Aquarius now, which is going to help moon will go on to conjunct con Jupiter and um and and trying uh, and trying the sun will try mars in libra so uh i'm thinking that wednesday thursday definitely has a lighter energy a little bit more of let's call it a uh we we'll maybe call it a little bit more of a playful and well it's not really playful though is it it's just kind of a nicer energy and the dog is going to bark so i'm going to take a quick little break and I'm back after my short little hiatus while the dog was barking at uh, somebody who was riding a bicycle on the street, I believe. He doesn't like, he doesn't like when bicyclists go by the house. That's, that's just not good, according to him. So um, that feel is really good for Thursday. Aquarius moon, generally speaking, like a very good sociable vibe. That sun Jupiter trine is very positive. It's great for social things. It's also good for things that require communication. Again, uh, if there's any bargaining or negotiations, or let's let's say diplomacy, anything like that that has to be done Wednesday, Thursday, hard work and stuff like that, Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday, Thursday, a little bit more of a sociable vibe, a little bit more of yet something to present out to the world, something to to show folks and so on. That's a that's a good time to do it Wednesday, Thursday. Now Friday, and I know you're thinking, well, but what about Friday? What about the whole you know social thing and stuff like that? Uh, Friday, the moon is going to be void, of course, most of the day. If you're on the Eastern time zone, from about eight thirty in the morning till about ten thirty at night, it's not exact, but you know, ballpark it out there. Uh, a void moon in Aquarius, a nice waxing void moon in Aquarius is really good for socializing, getting out, hanging out with friends, things like that. I wouldn't try to get too much done on Friday, but it's not just the void Aquarius moon. After this very busy week, we are given a little bit of a day off on Friday and then on Saturday, we have the Pisces moon and um, we can look at that as being kind of a, uh, a, again, a little bit more of a relaxed kind of vibe. Uh, the moon goes into Pisces late on Friday, Eastern time. The only caveat is, there's a lot of caveats here. The sun is square to Pluto on, um, well, it's, it's earliest Sunday morning. So that is going to be very apparent on Saturday. And the sun square Pluto, Pluto's in Capricorn. The sun is in Libra, where he's not particularly strong because you know, the sun is the sun, fiery planet going its own way. And in, uh, in Libra, needs to take the other into consideration, needs to be a little bit more... A, a, a little bit more the diplomat, a little bit less the executive, which is not the sun's place. So uh, again, on Friday, Saturday, there could be a little bit of conflict when it comes to getting some stuff done. Uh, I would really, really avoid anything that involves paperwork or anything like that, anything that requires officiadom anything that requires you know the stamp of approval or anything like that this is not the time for that and it's not just because the sun is square pluto it is because on monday and i got to tell you about that this week because if i wait until next week it'll be too late on monday next week on earliest monday uh we have both Jupiter and Mercury stationing to go direct on the same day. So you know that just looking at Mercury stations, right? You know that the biggest mishaps happen a couple of days before and a couple of days after the station. So Saturday, especially later Saturday, all of Sunday and Monday of next week, that's Monday the 18th, real Mercury retrograde issues. Jupiter stations 
uh, are also a time that we want to look at, but it's a little bit different. Jupiter stations a couple of days before and a couple of days after fill us with optimism, enthusiasm, a sense of hope and possibility of faith in the future. It's great stuff. If you know what the hell you're talking about. And with Mercury stationing to go direct, maybe you don't. And with the sun square Pluto, maybe you're not even in the mood to listen. So here's the, here's the sum the summary for the week. Sunday, work. Monday, Tuesday, work. You can enjoy yourself a little bit too, but get some work done so you feel good about yourself. You, know, you don't always have to do work so you feel good about yourself. But this week, it's a good idea. Wednesday, Thursday, really good opportunities to sort of externalize things, bring it out there into the world sort of energy. Maybe even Tuesday, but Wednesday, Thursday, great for anything that has to do with interacting with others socially or in a business, professional way. Wednesday, Thursday is terrific. Um, and then Friday, a little bit more of like a casual, just, you know, after a, after a busy week, you're entitled to sort of just take care of routine stuff and then go out and enjoy yourself. Saturday and Sunday, I would say, you know, enjoy the vibe. <laughs> expect a certain amount of confusion and mixed messages crossed wires whether it's a work or social situation you know it's just mercury retrograde jupiter going direct the whole the whole thing together is just a little bit much great for just you know hanging out and enjoying yourself a little, little bit less great if you're trying to get something done all right you got the you got the forecast you got the plan you got it in detail you have it in in overview you have it both ways twice because mercury's retrograde you know saturn stationing and stuff like that all right i'll see you next week